Right, right. but the, but the, the, table, thing is, Sean, the table isn't set because if the table, if the table was set, he wouldn't need a wife. If the table was set, right, he has no need or no use for a wife. Hold he on, Shan. Need why? Hey, what? I mean, what? Yeah, what? This is why uh, Precious is not set. That's right. why you need a woman. Hold on, now, Precious. The table is not set. And, and the he idea of... He, listen, he his table... Wife. Meaning, okay, so what I mean by that is his table is not set. What I mean by that is we're not just talking about money, right? So, no. uh, of course, Steve right. Harvey makes or earns a certain amount of money, right? Yeah. So, so the money aspect of it is not what it is. But he absolutely was looking for a wife for yeah. specific reasons i think each party in this table meeting at this table needs to focus on what they they themselves are bringing before they start requiring other people to bring something because half the time whatever you want someone to bring the table you don't deserve you don't you know qualify mm -hmm. for well qualify is a buzzword in this conversation too but how do you know that that person is going to pick you and I think what people need to be thinking about are what are these qualities that you want in someone and what are the qualities that you have that, you know, the person that you desire will want in, you know, in a partner, in a spouse. Um, I think it's just, it's much easier for people to focus on what that person needs to have so then they don't have to look in the mirror and do the work themselves. And I will say I'm really hard on women, but I do want to ask Mr. Let Go, if he coaches women, if that's his target market, because he doesn't think very highly of them. I don't think of my potential clients like that, but I don't know. Maybe you work wonders. So, Can you elaborate on what you're saying? I don't think highly of women. <laughs> they're, they're who you that's coach, true, right? Man. Primarily. No, 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 no. Can you elaborate on your statement? I don't think highly of women. I first asked if you coach women, right? Yes, but I so, did ask why, okay, what do I'll you answer. mean? By what you just by, said, you elaborate. By, by what you've said earlier, by... Um, what did I say earlier? You said women saying, are children? No, 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 no. no. Well, Let he didn't say it today, at least. On another what did I say? <laughs> yeah, I'm not even going to use that one. Um, you... you <laughs> I'm trying um, to think of what um, you just... Um, uh, I know, uh, I know uh, what you so said. Read, no, repeat no, no, your no. answer, what you Get just said. Get his ass, Coach K. Leave her alone. You okay. said that women. You said that women are emotional and they need to bring and sit their butts down or whatever, and no, that Sean they can't. Said women are ahead. emotional. No. And I, go ahead. What? Repeat your answer because when I wanted to bring oh, this no, up, it was to. I asked you earlier, but then um, trigger Mike. Coach, and I'll rewind the tape. A, uh, ask a uh, actual question and answer an uh, actual question. I you asked you. I asked you, do you coach women? Because yes. if you didn't coach women, I was not going to continue with my question. It would be I asked you to elaborate, which you seem inept at doing. What do you mean? I'm going to rewind it. I'm going to rewind it. I'm going to rewind it. back. answer the I'll, question. Can I can't, you coach? Spicy. We're going we to stop right here. He and we're going to make it real simple. Women. Can you elaborate I on don't. your? Can you can me can you let me get the question out so you Go can because you can't seem to get the answer out. Can you elaborate on what you mean by you saying I don't think highly of women? So if you don't mind, I would prefer because I want to make sure that I don't put words in your mouth. Can you elaborate on that question? That's how you think. Can you elaborate on your thoughts? Can you not just articulate? I would your rather. Thoughts? I would rather use the words that I came out of your mouth. I would elaborate your thoughts. Mm. I would rather okay. use examples. So I'm going to pause and go rewind it because I'd rather be honest and come in good faith and use okay, your so words. This is, this is one of the problems that I see with women, Coach K. Okay? <laughs> okay. And this is one of the reasons why I always instruct women to sit their asses down somewhere, even when I coach them. Okay. Because in a lot of cases, like I said before, women overall have an absorbent way of they they, they look at themselves as They're better or smarter than they actually are. You feel That's me? That's one thing you so, said earlier. Yeah. They're being, narcissists. You let me finish. So with mm -hmm. all that being said, when they actually talk, they don't expect to have an answer come back because they're women. So when I simply ask you a simple question, you can articulate yourself and you say you're a coach. So this is kind yeah, of weird. I am a coach. 
I am a coach and I take notes when I coach, but I'm not taking notes right now when every single person is talking. And so because this is, really wait, hold on, can I finish, please? Can I finish, please? That you can don't finish, know please? how to articulate when finish, somebody please? asks you on them. Can I finish, please? When I was originally going to ask you this question, other people were talking because this is a panel when it question? was fresh. What is the question? I didn't <clears throat> ask you a question just now. You just said originally you're going to ask me a question. What are we doing here? My original question, I, I, I you know, know, was about who you coach. Oh. Okay. I, I Which, think we have to drop this down to elementary because I don't know what's going on. You said two statements. You said, one, all right, I'm going to be right back. Women or not, but yes, I coach women. And, where'd she go? Yeah, she's, she's got to go right back. She's going to go review what you were saying earlier. Why y'all waiting for that? Can I say something after that? So, this is yeah. the reason why I coach women. This is why right here. So we can put women in position where they can actually deal well, with so, a, so a simple match with man. But can I say, can I say this trigger, Mike? Go ahead. So in the meantime, well, the whole table conversation, like, of course, no man should ever go up to a woman and say, hey, what do you bring to the table? That's the most ridiculous thing ever. But the four seasons is to see the woman, like the young lady was saying, in different scenarios and different situations to see how she interacts, right? And so the, the importance of a woman bringing something to the table is not financial. It's what she brings as far as compliance, what she brings as far as cooperation, what she brings as far as her willingness and her eagerness to be able to fulfill what you need as a man. So that's what she needs to bring to the table. And that's why the table is so important. It has nothing to do with money because if a man is getting money, he could care less what you're doing with your money. I mean, he, now, well, now don't get me wrong. A man will have a plan for your money too. I mean, let's just be honest, but I'm saying it doesn't matter how much you make. So he's probably just arrogant and just like whatever lady he gets is going to just follow whatever he says at that point. Since I think he got with her when he had money already, he was established. So he's feeling like, okay, well, I want you on my team. So I don't give a damn what you bring because you're going to follow me anyway. Maybe that's where he was coming from. Yeah, but that's that's highly flawed. Like like um, Mr. Let Go is alluding to. He's a clown, really. Steve Harvey is really a clown and a bad example mm -hmm. because he has yeah. multiple failed marriages because of the way that he approaches the situation with, with women. He thinks mm -hmm. that money is going to solve his deficiencies as a man, and money never solves your deficiencies as a man. Okay. It only en enhances. Yeah. 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 Let me say something. Just because someone's got multiple failed marriages does that mean you don't listen to them because i'm sure you guys all like mm -hmm. kevin samuels i do so let's not go over so yeah. multiple failed marriages doesn't mean that you can't learn so no, 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 can, no, can i address this trigger can yeah, I address her? Yeah. So she's addressing me hold on hold on let me address her since she's addressing me steve harvey is not about just a person having multiple failed marriages this is specific to Steve Harvey. And you could tell a tree by the fruit it bears, right? You can Perfect see example. the type of man that Steve Harvey is by, number one, how his wife acts, and number two, how his daughter or children act, right? Yep. Number three, he produced two books that were led to a lot of the destruction within the black community because right. of the mentality. He has a certain level of influence. He has a certain level of cachet. And so because of that, he's leading people to destruction because he's nobody to follow for real. That's what I mean. It's specific to Steve Harvey, not just because you had several failed marriages. Oh, it's about did. him and his several failed marriages. And and that's the reason why I brought up the woman Steve Harvey chose to actually marry, which is a queen pin. Failed marriages. That was one of your key statements. So, so, so that's why that looks like that was at the forefront. So I just but it's who he married right. also, Lady right. Shan. Hey, like, we hey, bro. Look at the choices Anybody that people are making. Just like I say, women are pookie right. pickers. He's right. actually yeah. a, a pookie right. picker. He's a hey, female hey, pookie picker. Hey, bro, let's, let's can we keep right. this a being, right? We can keep this a being, right? Most people ain't getting money like that. Most people ain't six and seven figure people, mm -hmm. right? So, so this is the thing. It does matter what the fuck you bring to the table. It absolutely matters. You got people who, 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 would love to make $50,000 a year. That would be a lot to them. So it absolutely matters what the woman brings to the table in terms of resources, in terms of mindset, all that shit matters. 
what I'm saying? So for us, we can have higher le level conversations because, yeah, the, the money may not matter as much, but it absolutely matters. But overall, Steve Harvey is a clown, and I agree with my boy is. You should, you, should, you should never be like, hey, what do you bring to the table? That's some goofball shit. If you don't have a discernment to, to, to literally pay attention to how the woman is, then you shouldn't be with that woman. You, she shouldn't even make it to the point where she is your woman if you don't understand what she brings to the table. That's a you thing. That's not a her thing. That's well, maybe a goofy question to ask. Criteria. Our criteria, everybody's criteria is different. Maybe that shit, because at the end of the day, like you said, not everybody makes six, seven, and, and in some cases, eight figures. But the, what does she bring to the table? The table was already set. So at this point, he doesn't care. He doesn't really care. His table's set. He's got a specific psych, uh, criteria that you may not have. He's because not every man's got a set table. He probably just wanted the pretty thing that you know was quiet when she's quiet, looked good on his arm, and looked. Maybe that was his criteria for him. Right, but the, but the, the thing is, is shot, the table isn't set because oh, if the table shit. if the Why table was set, he set. wouldn't need a wife. If the table was set right, he either has no need or no use for a wife. Hold he doesn't why? Why? What? I mean, why? The way this is why uh, Precious, your table is set. That's why you need a woman. Oh, no, no, his table is not set. And, and the idea he of, set. he, listen, he his table, wife. meaning, okay, so what I mean by that is his table is not set. What I mean by that is we're not just talking about money, right? So, no. uh, I, of course, Steve right. Harvey makes or earns a certain amount of money, right? Yeah. So, so the money aspect of it is not what it is. But he absolutely was looking for a wife for yeah. specific reasons so the table the table the financial aspect is not the whole aspect <coughs> that's what no, i mean no. by the His table being set set. is not the whole deal that's his what i mean by was set. let's not pretend that money isn't a big factor his lifestyle was set his money was set his career was set his path was set he just wanted someone the table was set he just wanted someone to come to eat yeah, uh, yeah, I, that's I that. Mean, but you gotta but, have but table manners. That, that don't mean shit. That's, table manners that's to come to that table, that's though. Right, it is he, bullshit, Sean. He, 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 he wouldn't just let anybody come to that table, so there inherently there are requirements because he right. wouldn't just let anybody come to that that's table. Right. So she there are requirements. It, that, that statement doesn't even make sense. That's, that's why I said there, he just said his requirements. They may not be your requirements, my requirements. But his requirements. he was saying like asking the question of what do you bring to the table. That's like all right, let's get another lady in there. Uh, Precious, I know you wanted to go. So requirements specific to the person. He, his requirements were his requirements. He wanted someone to come to his set table to eat. Not anybody could come to his set table to eat. He, he had requirements. She met them. 